found that it's, it's one thing to talk to a client about what we can do. It's a whole different thing to actually show them projects that we've done. We've been trying to sell Mercedes-Benz on 3D for years, but it took Jim Cameron's avatar to really get the world knowing what 3D was all about. We decided to use passive 3D, which are very inexpensive glasses. We're a mobile society based with iPhones and droids, so everybody knows what it means to take an image or enlarge it or to shrink it, to turn it, because many people now have smartphones that do multi-touch. A new technology that is very exciting, akin to when in the Terminator movies Arnold would walk into a bar and look at a character and all the information about that character would be projected through Arnold's computer eyes. In this case, a computer and a camera are looking at a marker that I'm wearing on my head. And when it sees this marker, it knows to put up, in this case, a computer animation. It is a very simple, very simple device that once you plug your phone in, starts to charge it. And then we decided that since people are standing there charging their phone, that we've got a captive audience. So we decided to add opposing view 32 inch LCD monitors that can play any type of video that we'd like. What we're looking at here are thin bezel LCD displays that are designed and meant to be grouped together in large wall configurations. The bezel is much much narrower than the standard flat screen display. The images tend to, to merge together and what you see is one large virtual display. The, these screens can be assembled into almost as large an image as you want. The resolution is extremely, extremely good. Even with, with web-based videos and even with, with files that we'd send, it's still not touching and feeling and actually using the equipment. And especially when it comes to 3D technology, there's only one way to actually see it in 3D, and that's to come to the lab and actually see the productions that we've done.